Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another Skullgirls mobile video. Now, in today, like I did say in uh, episode 22, I believe, um, I was gonna make an update video to, I guess, this video, which is basically a little guide on how you can get keys faster and in general how you actually get them and how you can collect like a good amount over time. Now, all of these things are going to be free, you don't have to buy keys. Uh, I don't even, hold on, let me, let me check, I don't even think you can actually buy keys, can you? Alright, so it looks like you could buy keys, but I mean, <laughs> let's be honest, these these prices are honestly a joke. $5 for one gold key, $10 for three, $30 for ten keys? Now, I don't want to shame Skullgirls Mobile, because, you know, I play the game, and I enjoy it, and I understand that they don't want to make their game pay to win, so, like, I understand that, but, like, Jesus, man, <laughs> don't you think the prices are a little bit kind of uh, hilarious in a way? <laughs> but, yeah, if you do want to support Skullgirls Mobile, obviously, definitely buy uh, Theonite, buy Gold, and buy all that, because it's just another way of supporting Skullgirls Mobile, besides literally just playing the game. But yeah, if you don't intend on wasting any money, it definitely is better just to play this game and uh, grind it out. And I think honestly that's what the devs are going for. The devs are very nice people. I, I can tell they're really nice people. Uh, I've probably only met like two in uh, in game chat, but they're they're really nice people. And if you do want to support them, then by all means go ahead and you know buy, purchase uh, Theonite, purchase relics and all that with the Theonite that you buy. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, if you want to play this game free, it's probably way better to do that, to be honest. But yeah, as you guys saw, the keys, they're, they're, you know, they're ridiculously, they're ridiculously expensive. So that's all up to you. If you have money, yeah, I guess buy the keys. But even if you have money, I would still say just, just don't buy them. It's just not a good, it's just not a good trade off. But yeah. Anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start with the first, I guess, method. Uh, the first method is going here to the cabinet of curiosity. Cur curiosity. Cease. Curiosities. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, as you see right there, we already literally have a bronze key for 40k gold. Would I say it's worth? Probably not. I don't think it's really worth 40, 40k. I would probably say maybe like 20 to like 30k yeah it would make sense probably even 10k to be honest um but yeah that is a way to get it if you go to the cabinet of curiosities that's literally what i'm just gonna call it because i i don't know i'll just put like a google a google translate or something right next to it curiosities but yeah if you go here uh there's usually you know you can usually buy up to diamond keys but again it's not really worth buying them with gold it's more or less just kind of worth you know like earning them like through playing rift and playing uh story mode because i believe story mode you could actually pull keys there uh they're just mainly like gold and uh silver diamond keys i don't know where you like really get diamond keys from um but obviously they do appear in the store so i guess if you do have gold to spend like that and you have a diamond fighter that literally only needs like two more keys then i guess you might as well just buy one so you can finish the process faster all right, and the second method, which is the main one that I use, uh, is literally just playing Rift. Like, you get a lot of keys just from playing this game mode and uh, scoring at least to, like, Silver 1. At least Silver 1, you'll get, like, like 5 or even, even Gold 4. Like, hitting Gold 4 isn't even that hard. Yeah, I believe it's, like, a 1,000 points, if I'm correct, 1,200 maybe. It's somewhere around there, but I usually make it to Gold 2 to Gold 1, so this is what I mainly get is two Gold keys. Um, sometimes I'll hit gold three so I can get like a silver key and a gold key. Uh, but yeah, what you mainly want to shoot for is usually like gold four or even silver one. It, it, you really don't have to, you know, get up to like gold one or anything. It's just, you know, you, you still get keys, but it's better to just go for a higher score if that makes sense. Cause you look, look at all the extra stuff that you get out of it. Like it's, it's better just to go for a higher score. So yeah, that's how I mainly get my keys. Uh, you can use this method. Obviously, it's going to take way more longer just because it's literally every week. Every Monday, uh, the the rift will reset and you'll be able to claim rewards like I always show on every episode. Well, some I, I, some I accidentally just collected without even realizing it. Um, but yeah, every, every single um, episode of the series. But yeah, usually how I show... Uh, you basically get, I usually get like two key, uh, two gold keys to like one silver key and one gold key. Uh, it's still, you know, it's still pretty slow, but you gotta also realize that it's also giving you 
uh, relic shards such as like silver relic shards gold relic shards even diamond relic shards so yeah you kind of sacrifice getting more keys uh over getting shards but i mean it, it's still a really good trade-off so if you definitely want keys but you also want like shards or something uh it's, I, I definitely recommend playing rift Alrighty, and another way to actually get keys uh believe it or not is actually playing prize fights prize fights actually i don't know 100 percent sure uh how much they actually give you but i know if you're actually able to score yeah like they they don't give you a lot either um but let, let, let's let's actually see uh for gold so yeah it looks like you just get one uh key but you gotta remember like if you're playing rift and you're also playing prize fights you won't even realize it till it comes to the end of uh, i guess the rift and the prize fight you might end up getting what like four gold keys or even five gold keys if you can reach the top 10 percent which i believe is maybe like 10 million i'm not too sure um yeah if you can uh, hit both of those so if you can hit let's say like gold one and get two uh two gold keys and you also hit top uh 10 percent on this prize fight you literally get four gold keys just right there at the end of the price fight and at the end of the rift so that right there is already literally four gold keys so it's it's gonna stack up eventually you're not even gonna realize it but the keys will stack up eventually and then again before you know it, the keys will literally disappear uh right now i have 35 bronze 11 gold six diamond and then seven silver uh i don't really use them or i don't really upgrade characters as much because i'm kind of just like i'm kind of using them to evolve and i'm not using them mainly for like fighting at the moment uh just because i want to push to getting that parasite weave uh diamond right now so that's why i'm not really using my gold keys nor my silver keys so that's why they're gonna stack up because i'm not using them but yeah like i said they will stack up eventually though just play rift and play prize fights and uh yeah they will eventually stack up Alrighty, now the last way this is probably the most free way but probably the most like hardest i guess way is uh playing accused uh, experiments now these aren't like really hard fights i would say for like maybe level 30s to like lower than that uh i had some trouble with this when i was like level like 35 uh once i reached like i believe around 40 where i actually had like a good amount of uh golds and i had like a diamond at the time i think yeah i think it was uh Fro miss frosty that was diamond at the time uh, that's that's where i started being able to actually take on some of the fights um and obviously some of them relied on luck and then some just relied on literally the ai just messing up uh and yeah i felt this multiple times but now obviously i can just clear it out with literally one go as long as i have my little recharge uh, bottles i can literally just I, I can clear it out within one go and i was going to clear it out but this video was just going to be way more longer obviously i would have cut it out but i just I, I just don't want to um to put it simple you will get i believe uh let's check all right so it looks like it doesn't want to show me but i believe you get some uh, skill points for each character i think it's like a hundred or something uh and you also get one of each key so you get one diamond key one gold key one silver key and uh one bronze key so just right there one of each like each time you do this it's usually on a three-day cooldown so if you beat it yeah, you're gonna have to wait for another two days for it to cool down and then uh, reset and uh yeah that's basically the last method i know as of like right now um but if there is another way then uh yeah i will i guess i will make another another update to this all right and i think this might be the last way you can get them uh which is actually doing story mode i believe yeah you oh god you actually get a lot you actually get a lot of keys from this uh, so I guess this would probably be your main method of actually getting keys is mainly playing story uh, But if you are doing what I'm doing, which is one type fighter only then then I think you're better off just doing rift or even prize fights um, But yeah, if, if you if you could complete some story like again I've said you literally cannot do one fighter only because you're forced to play uh, Peacock and Big Ben at the very beginning and on top of that you're forced to literally switch out out of Peacock and play Big Ben so if you're doing peacock only you know you literally can't do that because you have to switch over to big ben and you're technically playing a different fighter at that point uh but the way that i made the exception for people who want to do this challenge is you can play as much story mode as you want up until you get those three uh those three one type characters so as soon as i got my three philias my uh my three bad hair days i was done playing story mode and i literally have not touched it ever since um ever since literally last year once i stopped playing it i think i was like a level 12 
Yeah, I think I was like level 12 when I stopped playing it because that's when I got my last Philia. And I had some insanely bad luck for my start. I literally could not get... I think I only got one out of the uh, the cabinet. I literally only got like one Philia out of there. And every single bronze relic that I got was either a Big Ben, a Peacock, if not a goddamn misfortune. And I was just, I was so pissed because I did not want to continue uh, completing story. Uh, up until like the very last one where I finally got a premier relic. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a bronze relic. It was a premier relic. I opened it up and I got a bronze filia. And so I was like, all right, that's it. And so I sacrificed all of the characters into my bad hair day. And uh, yeah, it's basically where where it all started, just going from there. But yeah, anyways, that, that was basically all of the methods that I know as of right now, which is story, rift, and prize fights, and that, that's basically about it, actually. Oh, uh, and also I forgot about the cabinet. Yeah, you can also get the keys from the cabinet. Uh, I don't really, I wouldn't probably rely on that, just because it's gonna probably only be either one gold key or maybe like one silver key that's gonna appear here and there. Uh, I think the most I've gotten was probably like one gold key that spawns in there and like one silver. Like I rarely see diamond keys in there. So um, yeah, if you want to get like diamond keys or something, you're probably better off either just like. Getting at a getting it out of like gift events or something, or even playing like, uh, even playing like events. Sometimes you will just get a random diamond key from there, or you probably have one and you just don't realize it. So I guess if you need a diamond keys or something, just check your inventory and you'll probably be able to find one there. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically the order I guess of like rarity, uh, for key wise. Um, it would go from it would go from bronze, silver, gold, and then obviously diamond. But depending if you're more on the higher level, you might not be able to actually see bronze keys as much unless you're like buying them or something. And I know that that's kind of dumb of me saying that because I literally have what like I have like 35. But those 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 35 have literally been from like again prize fights that I play that I don't even realize that I scored I guess like low or high enough to get the, like those bronze keys and all that. Like I just don't realize it, and it's like I was telling you guys, it will stack up eventually. Just give it time, and the keys will literally just stack up. Like, you'll feel like you don't have any keys at the start, and then once you're, like, level, I don't know, like, 40-ish, maybe even 50-ish, you literally just have, like, a bunch of silver and bronze keys, and uh, you just don't know what to do with them, so that's all I guess, I guess that's all up to you guys what you guys do with them, but I would just honestly just save them, and if there's, like, a new bronze fighter that you want to upgrade, then there you go, you have the bronze keys ready and everything. But yeah, anyways, that's basically it, um, just a quick update to the video, I guess, because it's literally, like, one years old, I think, or... Yeah, it should be like one year old because I uploaded that back in 2020 or 2021. I don't, I don't even remember. It's been such a long time. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good rest of your day and good rest of your nights. But with that being all said, I'm going to head out. Later.